Hello guys, uh, in today's video, uh, in this particular video, we're going to talk about how to print out a uh, set kit uh, and outfit. Um, basically, our uh, tool kit, uh, demolition kit, they are technical, man. technically, I'm not, I'm not supposed to be technical, man, but these are the uh, component listing in, 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 with illustrations that will help us identify them when we are trying to do layout or inventory because it's kind of difficult trying to um, identify toolkit especially when you open up a toolkit and lay everything down and trying to um, do an inventory of it the size the length and everything how are you going to do it so some uh, we need this uh, set kit and outfit together with the bomb and the bomb is supposed to be printed in long text so that it basically explains everything into detail and with the pictures or illustration or images from the set skits and outfit it becomes easy for you to do a good layout so that you can actually catch all the shortages and put them on order so that's what we're going to do today it's going to be a few steps from here and there we're going to jump jump from one one place to the other so just follow suit let's get to it I uh, know this thing is going up. Let's go. So first of all, I'm going to try something to show you the difference between the publication number for a set case and outfit and the publication number for a normal technical manual. So I'm going to put in, I think it's a demolition kit. Yeah, demolition kit. Yeah, I think so. So we're going to go to the bomb. So let's write down this um, number. Let's go to the publication number, put it in there. Let's see if it works. nothing pops up right so since nothing pops up it tells you we can't get our um, manual from there so there's one page on GCSS I um, mean uh, on the home page on the welcoming page which shows you your um which shows you a component listing so you have to scroll down on the GCSS easy access menu you scroll down right there it's called the all user skot bomb update okay so we're going to see if we can find the demolition kit from there so let's go on so you click on it it takes you straight to AKO right there so this is it right so now how do we find it uh, you can do control find right there then you put in the um, Material number, uh, the NSN for the item. Since the NSN is here, you can actually search for it. So we're going to search for it right now. As you can see, no match found, right? So let's try the line. Let's try the line item. Definitely, I know there are going to be a lot of NSNs or material numbers under that um, line number. But let's try if we're going to find um, the particular name we're looking for, material number we're looking for. As you can see, the material number or the NSN for this item, set explosive demolition, is different from the one we're looking for. 
we're looking for the one with the uh, last number i think 50 and we have 1664 right here and let's see if we have more uh, items as you can see we're looking for an item with our mature number with the last number 3750 right but we have 1664 which is different from the one we're looking for now let's see if we can find the next one as you can see uh right here it has only one match so now it takes us to we need to go to the ac portal the ac sub portal that's where we can find our sets kits and outfits So when you click on it, the first thing that you need to go to, the first place you need to go to is the CL SK OTS viewer, right? Now when this pops up, when this pops up, there are a few things that you need to do. You need to know the current bump uh, um, update, the current bump update, because when it comes to the SK OTS, uh, they updated every six months if i'm not wrong i think it's every six months so every six months they updated so you need to find the current um update for the particular material number you're looking for because some of them change some are in september some in october it depends on the uh, uh, the item so this for instance you have to look for the most common one So let's scroll down. So as you can see, it starts from 2015, right? So that means that the lower part is going to be the current one. So we have April um, 2021. So you hit on that arrow, you put it up right there, then hit OK. Now here, what we're going to look for is we're going to look for what we call the component listing number the cl master uh, list so the component listing is what we're going to use we, we will need it whilst we are trying to pull up our uh, sk ots so we will need it so that's why we're here that's what we're trying to get from here so we're going to get the component so for the first thing that we needed was the date the recent date publication date now the second thing you need is the cl master list so it's a component listing that's what we're going to look for right now so let's continue so what you do control f you put in your material number for the item you're looking for the uh, skots so that's our component list right there you can write it down Write it down because you will need it. Definitely you will need it when you are trying to get it. So when you write it down, let me expand that for you to see. So we want hand receipt reports with illustrations. So you click on it, you leave this page. It's going to take a while. So now with the publication date, you see this side right here, you click on it. So you're going to click right there. It's going to load up all the publication dates. You scroll to the, 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 the last one, which is going to be the current one. You click on it, hit OK. Now let's go to search by name. Do the same. Now you type in the material number. Then you search. What are we looking for? Demolition kit. So all this process is trying to direct you to the exact document you're looking for. So you put in five set criteria 
for it to be done. So now we are putting in the uh, component list, the one that we want to look for. But mind you, sometimes you might have the old, um, you might have the old SK OTS, such case and outfit, you might have it. And the material, the component listing might be on it. So if the component listing is already on it, you don't need to go to the master list to look for the component list. If that makes sense, yeah. I think if you already have it, if you already have all the search criteria, all the, uh, the search criteria information, you just go straight to the hand receipt. That means you just come straight to this place, hand receipt with illustrations. So let's continue. Now you hit the run button. Now two more search criteria to do. So this is going to be there already. So all you have to do is to click on it. Then you hit run. <laughs> so this is the hand receipt report with illustration for the demolition kit. So you scroll down. You see we have only two pages. So from here, what next? You can see a print button right here. So I'm going to use that one. And you can see export right there. So we're going to use the print this report and see if it's, it works. And I know I need to install something before it works. So as you can see, it wants us to install something before it can print for us. But I don't have administrative rights, so I can't install anything. So I have to get up, then use the export this report. So I will export it, drop down button then you click PDF then you select all pages then you export you can save it you can open it I don't want to save it because I already have it so I hit open then it takes me to PDF so from here we can save it onto our desktop or we can print it out to whoever the sub and receipt holder is so that they can print it. So basically, th this is how you print your SKO TS guys. Set, set, um, set kits and outfit tools, right? So basically, uh, guys, this is all for today. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and share. And I think the next video I'm going to make is going to be how to um, see your financial report. Because um, for every month you need to print out your standing room reservation and your financial report so that your commander would sign. So the financial report basically describes all your spending within a particular period. So it can be a month, it can be a year, it can be... Um, from what do we call it? From the day GCSS started in that company or that unit, and also that particular information, you can also use it for your NCOER, especially for the supply sergeant. You can use it for your NCOER, so you can get a, a particular date that you took over as a supply sergeant to the date where you have your NCOER. Then you can use that spending that you've done for the company as your one of your bulletin for your um, NCO year. So guys, thank you for the time. See